Hi guys, welcome to Freely Dan channel. I'm Valeria and today we prepared for you a very nice combination for your leg action and weight transfer. That's gonna be also super good for your balance because we're gonna do this combination very slow so you could feel how you use your foot and transferring your weight. And plus, when I'm gonna do it with music, I will dance it for you a couple times. The first one would be a little bit slower and the next one will be faster one so you could see how you can speed up in this combination, but still would recommend you to practice slow. So let's try it together. Okay, the first thing guys, what we're gonna do with you, that's we're gonna break it down this piece on accounts. I would recommend you to use the four counts for each step, for each move, what we're gonna do with you. You can stretch it out it more, so you can use more counts, do it slower, but not faster. Not faster than the four beats for one step. So let's do it with the count first. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and beginning one. So now let's try to break it down on the elements and what we're gonna do in those elements. So the first thing what we want to do with you is feel how we're gonna place our foot use the weight in our heel, go through the middle of the foot and bring your weight to the toes. So this first step, you wanna very much feel how you use the rolling from the heel to your toes. After that, you're gonna use a center lifting up and a slow, slow rotation forward. Then you will use same transferring of the weight where you want to place your heel and remember as soon as one heel go down the other one go up and then you want to feel heel middle of the foot toes again I would lift my center and it's gonna help me to bring my foot in after there we're gonna use a cross position so I would place my arm to the wall and step across then I would lift my foot in again same way by lifting the center higher and across the foot without the weight yeah so I go in and cross it no weight on that foot because you're gonna bend your standing leg and it's gonna help you to rotate your foot forward. After that, you're gonna keep rotation with the feeling how you're stretching your body, cross your body and keep rotating, cross your legs and lift your leg. And as you can see by straightening my knee, I can bring my foot in and a little bit lift it up. Let's try it again. So as you can see, it might feel confusing. By using the wall, it's gonna be much more easy. Just think about rotating all the time one side. So you would just cross and keep turning, keep turning, catch the wall, 
and lift your foot up. After that, you want to bring your foot down by putting the toes on the floor, then feel the ball of the foot sliding forward. Same, put your heel down and feel how you're transferring your weight from the heel towards to your toes. And we'll do same thing other side. So same continuous rotation. You would pull your leg in across the foot. Start bending your standing leg. Keep turning, you can use the hands. Keep turning, catch the wall. Use your weight all the time in ball of the foot. Even though I'm keep my heel down, I'm very much directing my weight in the middle of the foot. So it's helped me to keep balance and rotate. Then you would lift yourself up and down. Then we again gonna slide our foot forward and we will do a swivel. Swivel would be a little bit different than we did with you before. This one, I want you to very much squeeze your muscles, inside muscles, and rotate and hold the, this kind of a circle line in. And circle it, circle it, and pull it in. And same we do with our other leg. With seam, bring our foot forward, cross the body, squeeze the muscles in, and make a little circle, and pull the leg in. After these two swivels, you would again bring your foot forward. You would turn in your leg, and I want you again do a kind of a circle, and you would bring your foot in front of you, and then pull it in. Place your heel down, change the weight, and you would start the same combination again. So you can do it over and over with music by turning and go whole thing again, yeah? The only thing, don't speed up. Try and make it as slow as you can so you're gonna start to use your muscles more. Yeah, you wanna feel how you all the time connect it with your center. The legs are long, so you will try to make it as long as you can and feel your hip on the ribcage so you're not gonna, you're not gonna pendulum it too much to the side, yeah? Very much under your body. So it's gonna help you to create rotation and a position and different kind of swivels in the future. Okay, let's try it with music now. Angela, do you really love me or is this a game you play? Can I believe the tender words you say? Or is this my final day with you? I know of you, Angela. Angela, the world was made for you and me. A love like ours was meant to be. We're strong together, can't you see? Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember we would like to see more comments, show us how you practice it, send us messages how it was so we could help you maybe with some questions and subscribe our channel, thumbs up and see you soon, bye!